American tourist Kurt Cochran, 54, has been hailed a hero after it emerged he died trying to save his wife Melissa by pushing her out of the way as Khalid Massoud came racing towards them. In 82 seconds of terrible drama the Westminster terrorist mowed down victims like human bowling pins the inquest heard yesterday. He would have felt and heard every bang and thought as he deliberately targeted and killed four people on Westminster Bridge before stabbing PC Keith Palmer to death at the gates of Parliament. Melissa, the wife of music lover Mr. Cochran, was too upset to pay tribute to him in person, so her sister Angela Stoll read a statement on her behalf on what would have been the day after his 56th birthday. I was so lucky to have had 25 wonderful years with the man of my dreams, she said. He made me laugh every single day. I cherish every single memory we made. I am forever grateful for the time we had together, allowing me to be the mother to his children and especially his heroic actions on that day, saving my life. No words will bring Kurt back or anyone else who has died senselessly in such cowardly attacks on humanity. Grieving families walked out as the disturbing CCTV was played at the Old Bailey. It showed Masu driving erratically towards the Houses of Parliament, mounting the pavement and striking Mr. Cochran, retired window cleaner Leslie Rhodes, 75, Aisha Freyd, 44, and Romanian tourist Andrea Christia, 31. Bus cam video showed Ms. Freyd being thrown into the air while Ms. Christia was seen plunging over a balustrade. The niece of Mr. Rhodes told the inquest the 75-year-old was placid, quiet and kind. Amanda Rhodes said the family was devastated and incredibly angry on hearing of his death. Mrs. Freyd's widower John said, the truth is that she still doesn't feel like she's gone, her love surrounds us, her aura lights up the paths of life's journey. The mother of two was cruelly and brutally ripped away from us as he said. Her sister Michelle said, Aisha and all the other victims of this tragedy are people and not just statistics or a name that will be forgotten once this inquest is over. A video recording was played to the court paying tribute to Ms. Christia on what would have been her 33rd birthday. She died from her injuries after she was thrown into the Thames as she walked across Westminster Bridge with her boyfriend, Andre Bernas. The interior designer had written a note on her final New Year's Eve in which he told of her hopes for the coming year, which he said, will be the best of my life. I will have a wonderful man by my side who will love and cherish me, and with this man I will start a wonderful family," the note said. Massoud's rented Hyundai Tucson had been going an average of 31 miles per hour before crashing into railings at the perimeter of the Palace of Westminster on March 22 last year. There were no armed officers nearby when Massoud, armed with two large knives, stabbed unarmed PC Palmer. Family and colleagues of PC Palmer paid tribute to the brave officer who gave his life to protect others. His sister Angela said, Keith died protecting strangers whilst doing his job and he will be remembered by many for his courage and bravery.
Masood was eventually shot dead by a plainclothes officer who had rushed to the scene. After the attack, eight officers working six days a week took four months to watch all the CCTV footage recovered, a total of 6,000 hours, just 10 hours of which was usable. Twelve people were arrested during the investigation, all of whom were released without charge. Detective Superintendent John Crossley said, From every inquiry we have done, we have not identified any other person involved in this, and it's my belief Massoud acted alone. Garrett Patterson QC, who represents three grieving families, said the images showed Massoud was deliberately targeting pedestrians. He said it appeared people were being hit like human bowling pins and thrown in the air like rag dolls. He said witnesses described the noise and the repeated thuds and bangs of the impact 